What if your horse is going crazy and not actually working with you when you are asking them to? This person's comment is about a video I did where I talk about some of the very things that I do to make sure that my horse is connected with me before I go for any ride. And so this person is asking, okay, but what if you and your horse are not on the same page and they're not doing the things that you look for before every ride? Don't worry, I got you. Let's dig right into that. So the first thing is, that's the whole point of the things that I look for before I go on a ride, is I want to see where there is a disconnect. And if I find a area where my horse and I are having a disconnect, then I will work on that area until one of two things happens. One, either I feel progress, okay? Feel like my horse is making progress. They don't have to be perfect, okay? Or my horse is demonstrating a better understanding. Again, doesn't mean that they're perfect, but they understand, they're attentive, they're willing. Just like you said, we're getting on the same page. They're working with me instead of working against me, okay? Because if I'm seeing that my horse is making progress, if I see that they have a better understanding, then I'm much more likely to be safe. The other thing that I'll do is if I'm working on something with my horse, and it seems like they're having a hard time getting it, maybe they're struggling, I might just give them some time to figure it out, especially if it's something that we've worked on or done before. So for example, uh, one of the things that I work on before I climb on and go for a ride is I always do just a little bit of desensitizing with my horse, both with them standing still and with their feet moving to make sure that they're comfortable with scary things while they're walking with me, okay? And so if I happen to pull out my horse Enoch and say maybe that particular morning, he's a little bit more reactive than he normally is, no big deal. I'll work him through it and give him time to relax, connect, and show me that he feels comfortable and confident with what I'm asking him to do. So even if you go through the things that you wanna do before a ride and you find that your horse is having a challenge with it, it's not the end of the world. Go ahead and give them some clarity and understanding and give them some time to work through it so that the two of you can connect, communicate, and feel confident on that ride.